who were some of the guys that benefited the most or you saw rise up in the fourth quarter program or Marvin, in your case, the equivalent of what you experienced while you was there? Who is somebody that really made a name for themselves that kind of rose through the ranks and was able to elevate himself to a better position during, I guess, your now, equivalent of the fourth quarter program? Man, Besides played, you, when you were I, a redshirt freshman? I played with some killers, man. So all the killers – we was the enforcers, so it, nobody really stepped out there and really – I mean, because you got to think about it. So when we were doing our fourth quarter, you know, for those who weren't up to par, like I so said, we'd have to do these quote-unquote mat drills, and we'll leave it at that. But usually, <laughs> if you shit. were sent out there, you were sent out there to face somebody like myself, Cornelius Griffin, Kenny Smith, Chris Samuels. So you were sent out there to face somebody uh, who was more than a formidable opponent. So to, to to increase your stock to get through one of us probably wasn't gonna happen. So you're saying not one time anyone got the best of any of those names that you just listed. <laughs> not one time, Marvin. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Listen, because it, it was a pride thing with us. We weren't gonna let you do anything to us. And you gotta understand something. So like me, Kenny, and, and Cornelius, we all we used to work out together, you know, because all us being over five hundred, squad over six hundred. So you're not talking about average human beings here, okay? So I got you. So yeah, you came out there with us, you know? No, it went, no, <laughs> nah. All right, fine. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you this: there's still a lot of stories to this day about some things that happened to people during the mat drills from coming out there with us that we still laugh about to this day. Huh? <laughs> you should have gave us a little bit of that earlier. That's what no. We need. Oh, we come on, that, Marvin. That, that, this perfect. is the show. People tune in to hear stuff like that because they're not going to give it on all those other sure coding channels that are out there. Man, look, I'm just, I don't want to make just, anybody out to be the bad guy. I understand. I eat myself and a few other people. <laughs> but can you give a good example of somebody who rose through the ranks and kind of made a name for themselves? Or are you kind of on the same wave of thinking as Marvin here? Levi Wallace, for sure. There, there you go. Levi Wallace, most definitely. You know, he uh, he was he was he was a walk on, um, earned himself a scholarship. Um, went undrafted. He played, uh, started uh, his last year, went undrafted, played four years in Buffalo. Now he's in uh, Pittsburgh with his teammate Minkel. So, of course, I will uh, choose Levi Wallace. <laughs>